please if you are watching me on this watch it to the end so that you get the balanced message I believe in Igbo I believe in my people Nam De Kano is our brother no matter what happened we must support our brother it is in Igbo blood and we are still asking the federal government release him for us or better still engage him for the development of this country because if you listen to that man talk that man is a sage he has some information and that man is speaking out of aggression he's a body he's not somebody somebody paid money somewhere to begin to campaign for a people if not he would have betrayed his people and go but i don't see him as somebody who is ready to betray his people and it is better they release him because if the enemy uses enemies to kill him there you are boiling the land for us by cutting election is not act of wisdom to me is selfishness why whether you go out or you didn't go out you can't stop election in as much as many of us are trusting God for Biafra are you getting what I'm saying you must understand that for now we are still in Nigeria we are not yet out Anambara is in our land it is wisdom for us to elect the person we want and then keep fighting the cause we are fighting and fighting the cause with our own than fighting the cause with somebody that will be imposed upon us that's number one my fellow beer friends carrying out guns and going along the street and shooting yourselves no wise priest will be happy when his member is killed this killing in Anambara killing this killing this we are not happy and we are telling the boys use plan B what is plan B God when Israel desired freedom from Egypt it was not Moses and the people that carried the gun it was God who forced Pharaoh through his mighty hand if it is time for Biafrans to go let us call on God who can remove every opposing force and you are innocent God can kill God can waste life God can make somebody blind God can cause somebody to disappear let us project God and not our gun because the people you are dealing with have many ammunitions than you and guess what some of you went to the shrine and cooked yourself so that when they shoot it will not enter but now it is entering why because the same native doctor that is doing the charm for you can do it for them I don't know whether somebody is seeing resistance what I'm saying let us come down and go out and vote Thirdly, I don't know you may hear this and call me name castigate me call me idiot that's your own cup of tea even Jesus was insulted but let me tell us all this threat of father we lock the east uh, one week we lock everywhere one week there is something you will do you will lose the support that the masses is giving to you there is hunger in the land because if you impose or force people to sit down please give them palliatives or you get ready to keep killing your brothers because many will not allow you to keep them inside and hunger is handling them and handling their their destiny south africa went for battle i mean for freedom nelson mandela stood for them it was not gotten by this thirdly let me speak whether you like it or not you are not more biafran than i am and we must have this understanding that there are some of us that have hotter blood but we are adding some wisdom because the future
is closed. Of a truth, there is corruption in Nigeria. But if Igbos walk out of Nigeria by force without getting their due compensations, they are losing because Nigeria was developed by Igbo. Number one. Number two, we cannot go for Biafra with this spirit of dictatorship. Now, this is dictatorship. And that's what we don't want. Sit down. Don't go out. You go out. We shoot you. We kill you. That is not democracy. That is dictatorship. And if this is the way we want to get it, then we are getting it wrong. Why? There is a way you want to dictate to somebody who is hungry. Both of you will begin to dictate for yourselves. And that is not healthy. And that is not wonderful. If we end up killing ourselves, who will be the Biafrans? I, I suggest that if there must be seat at home, let us include it in the whole federation. Let everybody in Nigeria sit, sit at home. Or better still, let the Igbos in Lagos, let the Igbos in Abuja, let the Igbos in diaspora, like America, Canada, Europe, let all of them sit at home with us. They will not be there doing their business and they will come to East and ask us to sit at home. And they are the one carrying their listing on, on, on Facebook and say, we must sit at home, we must sit at home. Come back, let us sit at home together. Are we happy with what is happening? No! No! Reverend Chibo Benwene is not happy. Looking at the governance, the sharing ratio in this nation and so many things, but we need to do more of my fellow Igbo brothers, we must do more of consultations and winning the elites to be part of us. Because until there is agreement, you can't get Biafra alone. It's not possible. It's not done. It's not done. You can only be creating crisis and then bringing security men to be shooting you and then some evil people, like what I saw in, in, in Facebook last time, in Anambara, how they stripped the full animal neck, four of them, and they were wearing charms and all those things. And some evil people have entered under this seat at home manner and this insecurity in our land, and they are causing crisis. Because I know that the essence of ESN at the beginning is to curb our forest and then drive evil away from the land. But some people are now misusing it. That's why I advise let us go to the drawing board. Because the issue of insecurity in the South is, the issue of sit at home order, the issue of crisis here and there is now breaking bigger than IPOB. Because it's not IPOB alone now. Other fools have joined and they are making, because I read the newspaper where IPOB people said, we didn't say by court election. Then who is making the announcement that is bringing threats? So let the IPOP people come together and fish out the evil people that is hiding and destroying their peaceful demonstration so that there will be no war. Innocent youth are dying. People with future are dying. People are losing their businesses in the town. Things are closing. People are relocating from our land to another place. And then we are chanting, 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 chanting. Igbo man is not known like that. Lastly, let us reason together with elders Igbos are known by the grace to listen to elders any group that doesn't have an elder is a mob is a mob we must consult the elders we have elders in the land we must sit down with them not everyone is afraid but what we are doing by court election don't go out you go out we kill you you did this and do that you will end up having a leader you didn't vote for and anybody you don't vote for, you can control. So I appeal to the conscience of our people. Allow the people to go and cast their vote. It is their right because we are still in Nigeria. Whether you like it or not. As for the agitation, let the Nigerian government engage the youth. Let the Nigerian government build up industries. 
Let the Nigerian government create job opportunities. Let Nigeria government listen to the voice of leaders. Let Nigeria government invite the religious men and the equals and the Israel highnesses and the leaders in each group and let us have a round table and rub mind together on how to come out of this. Tensions is high. Everybody is afraid. Somebody, will, if, if I want to create crisis now, I will just come up and go to my Facebook and say, if you come out on Monday, I kill you. Everybody will run. And the worst part of it is that even government are closing their, their offices. And most of our governors, instead of driving their car, they are not driving a mud car. That's to tell them that they have lost the support and the vote of the people. That's my message for the peer friends. Let's calm down. Let's use our sense. Let's not go and kill people in our nation. Because the people you will kill that will go out to vote are still your brothers. You don't kill your brothers and sisters to make a statement elsewhere. It is wrong. It's not right. If you say that it is good, if you say that you like it, what I want to tell you is that life is an echo. If you enjoy what is happening, the killing of these people and all those things, one day it will come to your own door. Then you know the feelings. And God bless you.